Hello and welcome to your uh, uh, 37th Chango tutorial. I didn't remember what I was doing there. Anyhow, uh, in this tutorial we're going to actually build the uh, detail view of our new newsletter. So if we go into our list view and we click on it, we want to be able to view our um, newsletter because we'd like to know what we sent to people, right? So before we even get into editing and deleting it, we should be able to review it. So in this tutorial, we're going to do that, all right? Um, so let's go ahead and figure out where we are. <clears throat> so the first thing we're going to do is create the view. So in the views.py file, let's go ahead and create a view down at the bottom. Uh, before we do that, let's go ahead and import something. We're going to import uh, behind render get underscore object or 404. Okay. Um, so this will get the object to return a 404 page. So we'll go ahead and just create this. This is a very simple view. So def define a function. We're going to say control underscore news letter underscore detail. And then we're going to pass uh, two arguments. So we got request and uh, PK for primary key. Now, primary key, uh, when we save something via in Django, it creates a primary key for us. So that's how we're going to cipher which object we want. So there we go. Now we need to go ahead and get that object. So we'll do newsletter. So that'll be our context variable. And then we'll say get underscore object or 404 pass the um, model in and then we'll say uh, primary key which is the primary key in our model and then primary key from our uh, being passed in from our URLs is the one we want. Then we're going to come down and say context is equal to a dictionary and we're going to say newsletter and then newsletter, all right. And then we need our template. Oops, it's not a useful template. And this is going to be control underscore panel forward slash control underscore newsletter underscore detail dot HTML. All right. And then we just need oops, return render request template context okay so that's our view it's a very simple view um next thing we should do is create our urls so let's go to our urls um now i'm going to actually let's not create our url yet actually we can we'll create our url and then i'm going to show you something uh so let's go ahead and do url and then raw string, and we'll call this one a uh, newsletter forward slash, and then uh, parentheses question mark p. So we're passing in the primary key as a variable. Um, backslash d uh, plus uh, close out of parentheses forward slash dollar sign. All right. And then uh, comma control newsletter underscore detail comma name oops name and if I didn't mention before we're doing this in the control underscore panel URLs not um, in our newsletter URLs control newsletter uh, detail. So, <clears throat> see we got a little red squiggly line. We have to go ahead and import this view. So it's going to be control underscore newsletter detail. All right. Uh, so that should work. Throw your comma back here. Everything looks good. Well, let's go ahead and create a quick uh, view for this um, page. Uh, so in your template folder, control panel, templates and then control panel, right click and we'll create a new file and we're going to call this uh, control underscore newsletter 
underscore detail dot HTML. And then first thing we put in is extends. And this we're going to extend control underscore base dot HTML. And close out the extends. And then block content. So block content. And then end block. All right. So in here, let's go ahead and do a div class is equal to call hyphen small uh, sm small nine, and then call hyphen small offset three, and then call hyphen md hyphen 10 and then call md hyphen offset 2 and main again we've done that before all right so now we're going to do div class and we'll do page header give us a nice little page header and then in here we'll do h1 and Inside two curly braces, we'll do newsletter since that's our context variable. Uh, dot subject, and then we'll just do another context variable down here. We'll say um, it. <clears throat> this one to be newsletter. Dot body. All right. And one last thing we want to do is throw in a few buttons here. So let's do div class uh, call sm8 call sm offset. Offset four. I'm kind of just making this up as I go here. Div class. Um, so these are going to be our buttons. So call small two. And in here we'll just do a button and we'll set this up as we create the views. So this would be an edit button. I'm just going to copy this so I don't have to write that again. Oh, come on. And this will be um, delete. Probably not position properly, but. And then this last one, we're going to go ahead and uh, create a new one. So we have a view for that set up. So we can just go ahead and set that up. So H href is equal to uh, curly brace percent symbol URL. Uh, Quotes control underscore panel colon control underscore news hold on news letter and your quotes percent symbol curly brace quote and and out your um, a tag and then we just need to copy the button here copy that put that in here let's style it a little bit so the button looks somewhat nice so we'll do class btn btn success all right so there we go um and that shouldn't be edit this is going to be new once my computer decides to play nice there we go all right new all right, so we should have created our de detail view. Um, one last thing I want to do is my text editor seemed to lock up here. There we go. Uh, go into your control newsletter list. Your subject, let's make that a hyperlink, all right? So we have something to click on to view it detail. So a href, href, 
and then we're going to do um, fairly brace sensible URL. Um, um, URL. I'm trying to remember what the heck I called it. What did we call? Uh, it's newsletter detail. Okay. Uh, sorry, control underscore panel. And then control underscore newsletter underscore detail. And then uh, percent symbol curly brace. Uh, quote. Close out your A tag. Am I missing something? Uh, yeah, we, we're missing uh, PK is equal to item dot pk all right and oh, uh, there we go something i might be missing something there i don't know all right so let's go ahead and uh open up our list and this should take us to a detail if I didn't screw anything up. No reverse match found. Control newsletter detail PK. I spelled something wrong. URL control panel. Control newsletter detail. Item primary key. We called the for loop item correct. Oh duh. <sighs> I know what I did wrong. I yeah. Genius I am. I put this up in the header of the th of the uh, table, so we'll just go ahead and copy that out. Sorry if you followed me along, or I hope you guys are having a good chuckle at my idiotness. And yes, I do this on a daily basis to myself. All right, down here to uh, inside the table data row, we'll go ahead and paste this in. Um, so all we need to do is close out the A tag, right? We'll see if that works. So let's go ahead and refresh. I might still get an error because that's not what prompted this issue. I notice. All right. Um, so we click on it. We should get a detail view. Oh crap, that didn't work. Look, this is not what we made for our detail view. It says newsletter one. So what happened? And this is what I said when I indicated to you earlier that I will show you in a little bit um, with our URLs. If we go into our URLs and let me kind of slide this over a little bit so we can see our full URL. All right, so right now we have newsletter, we have newsletter list, we have newsletter and then we have forward slash. So these two are basically the same at this point, okay? Um, so, and then we pass a variable back here of our primary key. So these two are matching, all right? And then anything after this is kind of thrown up in the air because this, Django's not sure, hey, am I, am I actually looking for this primary key or am I just looking for some silly number? So if we come up into our browser here and I change this number to five all right watch nothing changes i could i could put a dog since my dog shot walking around annoying the hell out of me right now um anyhow we can put things like that and it it just doesn't change our url and the reason being is we don't have a dollar sign here all right so if i was to put a dollar sign there and then go back and try to put dog up here. Well, I got a refresher. Hey, 
Like I said, my dog's annoying me. You see, dog doesn't work, all right? Or I'm going to wait until my browser updates. You see, we get page not found, all right? So that's not what we're going for. Um, let's go ahead and go back in and click on our link again that we created in our newsletter list on All right, so if I click on this now, uh, nope, still nothing. All right, um, so how do we fix this issue? All right, um, well, first off, we should have a forward slash here, dollar sign there, because those those uh, URLs are not going to extend any further. Okay, so let's see that one. Let's go back and refresh and see if that's our issue. Of course, my server wants to be slow. Come on, wake up. There we go. Not yet. All right, so let's, well, that is our view, actually. I didn't realize that was a view. It's been a long day, but that is our view. But also, we could also, um, what I was getting at there, um, is take this and put this above here. Um, that way it actually goes and looks for the primary key instead of hitting this and triggering whatever this is if you forgot a dollar sign. But always put the dollar sign if you're not going to go any further than that. So we have newsletter and we have newsletter. All right, so it's going to hit this newsletter and anything past into it after the forward slash, it's going to say, oh, okay, newsletter and stop. Um, but if it's something's past, it's going to continue on. But in my daily life of developing Django sites, I do not like to um, leave this open with the possibility of an error. So I will do actually this, all right, newsletter detail. And the reason being, I don't want to go ahead and send this product out to a client and then for some reason down the line, it actually starts hanging up because either Django can't figure it out or Django changed something. And we also need to put our carrots in here. So I forgot them as well. So there is a rundown of how you screw up URLs. All right. So I'll see you in the next tutorial where we go ahead and create an edit um, view so we can edit our newsletter and then we'll roll into just uh, a delete, which is very simple. So I'll see you in the next one.